What's up everyone? Hope everyone's having a good day. Turned out to be a very nice sunny day. It looked like it was going to rain earlier, but it didn't. Somebody's over there in the dog park. Had a vet appointment with my dog Jake. Turned out well. He's fine. He's healthy. It's just that some of these vets, you know, they got to give them the shots and the uh, tick, tick prevention and all that. Sorry about that. Some of that stuff I don't trust, but what are you going to do? Living up here, you need some protection for the dog, but he gets uh, his rabies shot. He got all the shots. I could take him out and all that. I was taking him out anyway. He was fine because um, the breeder did give him something, but he has all the shots now except for the rabies, and that's going to be in three weeks. He's still t too young. He's just barely over three months, but he's growing. He's healthy. The vet said he's healthy. I hope he makes about 50 pounds. 55 pounds would be great. That's a great size. It's like a thin down, you know, thin version of a lab, but, you know, a little leggy, but not more longer than tall, but tall enough with his legs, good running power. Anyway, I'm going to get right into a video. It ain't much of a video, but I wanted to show these two watches. I showed them already, but not like this. <clears throat> this is the... Uh, the Seiko 007, um, this is the manual it came with, all the good stuff. I bought this about, oh God, not that long ago, right before they started getting hard to get, before the prices went up, maybe three, four years ago, three, four years ago, um, it tells you everything in there and then you get the guarantee it comes with. And I put it in a box. I got the, the guarantee and everything, Seiko guarantee, blah, 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 all that good stuff. And uh, all that good stuff, you know. So I have it in, I came in this box from Amazon with all of this in it, which is fantastic. And uh, I love the watch. I showed it on my channel many times. I love, the, I love it. I would love to get a Jubilee bracelet for it. It's not the J version, it's the regular one. It's just 200 meters dive watch, certified diving, you know. Beautiful watch, I love it. But the thing with this is, I'll take this. It came in this box, nice Seiko box with the guarantee, the manual, and everything, all that good stuff, 009. They had the 007s nice too. I would love to get this on a Jubilee bracelet, and get it out of this rubber strap, but hopefully soon. I just... There's always one thing after another, the dog, the dog, the dog, the car, the dog. It's like it catches up with you. And this is my uh, Seiko. I, uh, um, the camera's picking that up, I hope. 17 jewels. What happened with this watch is, it's funny I got this Seiko because actually, well, I always like Seiko, period. But... I thought when I was a kid, this is this is a watch when I was a little kid, uh, 12, 11, 12 years old. Um, it's a Seiko. It says 17 jewels, blah, 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 nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. But what happened with this was uh, it was left for dead in my house when I moved out of New York. And I kept telling my friend when we were cleaning the apartment, I said, you know, there's a gold tone watch. Now, I thought it was a Caravel because my mother used to buy these Caravel watches and give them to me. Or, But actually, she bought me the Seiko. She must have bought it in a jewelry store, a local jewelry store. It's an automatic. See, the camera's picking that out. It's an automatic 17 jewels, day and date, as you can see. And I kept telling my friend, you know what? I, that watch has got to be here somewhere. And we were cleaning the apartment out, cleaning it out. And uh, all of a sudden, I opened this tin. It was like a cookie tin with a nice face on it, like a painting on it of a woman's face. And, it, you know, it was it was just a nice, nice cookie jar box, uh, tin. It was a tin. I don't know what was in it at the time. It could have just been a nice tin that she bought somewhere. And I opened it up. There was all kinds of junk in there. And lo and behold, there's the watch. Okay. Now, when I found it, it had a stretchy band, one of those stretchy bands, because I was a kid, I didn't mess with anything, I just stretched it, put it on, that's what that's what's happening back then anyway with a lot of jewelry stores, 
They sold it like that. And uh, that was broken. Of course, the, 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 this was cracked. The uh, face was cracked a little, so I took it to a jeweler. I, uh, I just got, you know, I wanted to fix it up because it was a childhood watch. I really don't wear it. It's not big. It's not big enough for me. It's, it's almost, it, 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 it almost, too, it's a little too small for me. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a kid's watch, a man's watch. I guess a woman could wear it, you know, but it, I had it as a kid and, uh, it looked big, obviously, when I was a kid, but look at it compared to the SKS. You know what I mean? It's no comparison, but this is a whole, this is like night and day. But anyway, I found it. I put a new crystal on it. I took off that broken band. I I found this one in jewelry store. I said, all right, see if that works. Actually, it fits me, but I don't wear it. I could wear it. It's automatic. But all of those years, all I mean, all of those years laying in that thing, and this thing keeps good time. This thing just keeps, it. if you shake it up, it, it, it'll start working, you know, it, it, it'll start working perfect. I'm trying to look at this thing, but let me see some light on it, but I got to shake it. But anyway, I just wanted to show that that's what happened with this. I found that I fixed it up. I don't wear it because it's more like a smaller watch for me, and I, I'm really not into like small watches. I'm going to shed a little light on this thing, see if it's going I don't see it moving secondhand. I got to give it a good shake. It's been laying in the box. It's been laying for years and years. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if I could pick that up. Look. Look at that. I just shook it up. Look, it's working. And I wore it one day for a day just for the heck of it. It was in the winter time, Not this winter, a winter ago. And uh, it kept good time. And it changed the day and the date. The crown uh, goes down, recesses into the thing. This this is old. This is pretty old. It says 17 jewels automatic. That's what it says on it. Anyway, I just wanted to share that quick story. And I got this uh, from Amazon. Let me shut this light off. It is still working. After I can't believe it after all those years. And I got this... Uh, 009 from Amazon. I bought it. This was like the tail end of when they were 250 around two something. Now they're going for like a thousand bucks. So I got all the cards with it, the warranty, the, man, the warranty, the manual, the box. I am not selling it. I'm just showing it off. I love it. It went on a trip with me. It, I went swimming with it. It works great. I love it. It's a fantastic watch, but I just wanted to share that other watch experience that I had. I had this as a little kid, 11, 12 years old. And I almost know where it was bought. I guarantee it was bought in a local jewelry store in my area. I used to get chains and bust them. You know, you're rough when you're kids. You're playing outside. And uh, I'm almost certain my mother went into that jewelry store and said, do you want that watch? And I looked at a bunch of watches. And the thing, the reason why I'm even saying it, I had no idea it was a Seiko. I thought it was another watch. And when I found it, I was shocked. I said, oh, man, this is better than what I thought. I thought it was, uh, you know, I thought it was a different watch, but it was a Seiko. And it, to me, that's to me, it was more important that it was a Seiko watch instead of, you know, another kind of watch. And it, it's, it's unreal. I saved it. You know, it has like a gold tint to it. Automatic 17 jewels. There's my Seiko 009. Anyway. I just wanted to make a quick video other than going to Walmart right now. I've uh, been with the dog all day. We had to take him to the vet. Everything looks good. I will be filming Sunday and every day after that with the dog as, mu as much as possible. I got one nice video that I took a week ago that he was in a dog park here. I think I'm going to put that up. That's going to be my first video. He's just playing around in the park. It looks good. And... I went to track the supply to buy some dog food, and uh, I met a boxer puppy, Brindle, like him, because my dog's Brindle and White, and that dog was Brindle and White, and it was the cutest thing, you know, they were playing together, uh, mine's about three months and a week, or th three months and two weeks or something, and that dog is tad maybe a week or two younger than mine, but they were both like the same size, 
because boxes are going to be bigger than this. That box will be bigger than him. But anyway, you know, I got that video, and then there'll be plenty more. Hopefully, he'll like the water. I could get him in some water in the summertime when it's hot. And, you know, wherever I go, I'll film with him. Hopefully, I could get him in the stores, Walmarts, and all of that good stuff, you know. I'll still do the watches separate sometimes or do him with the watches, but, you know, vice versa, whatever, you know, whatever happens. But you'll be seeing a lot of the dog coming Sunday. I'm going to shoot two videos up immediately Sunday, and then after that, I'll be filming, you know, when I get something that I like. I just don't want to just film anything and just keep throwing it when I get something playing with another dog or whatever. Anyway, I thought these... I thought this was cool to show these two today. Maybe it'll bring a memory to someone else that had a watch when they were a kid like this, automatic. It's just unbelievable that 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 I put it. I know I was I beat it up probably so bad it broke off my arm, and I didn't think twice. I, I wouldn't throw it away. I never threw watches away. I would just leave them somewhere, and my mother would put them in a coffee cup in a china closet or a, a metal container. And just forget about it like it was, you know, all right, we had it. It got old or whatever, it's, it, but but we just left it there. But I never thought it would survive, you know. It survived. And if it survived me, because I was like jumping around, wild kid, you know, crazy kid. So anyway. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope everyone has a good evening. I'm out of here. Peace out.